Hi, this is Lee from ColouringQueen.net and I want to show you a new book. It's called The Magical Journey and it's by Lizzie Mary Cullum who's produced a number of books including Magical City, a lovely Christmas book. She has a couple of books coming out this year, Magical Journey being one of them. So beautiful cover and you can see that uh, sparkle. We've got some lovely little silver foil highlights there. Gorgeous cover, folding out. Lovely, vibrant inner cover and a beautiful folder card. Her books are always very well made. Got a plain title page here, good spot to test that with media. And then we move into the book proper. There's some hidden items in this book. So we've got Australian surfboards, uh, New Zealand kiwi, Japanese chopsticks and whatnot. Now I'm glad there's not too many items. I don't really like to be bogged down by these interactive colouring books to be honest. Inside we've got this lovely double page illustration. It's got some very fine detail on it but also some very large spaces as well. So it's a bit of both. The illustrations are printed on both sides of the paper and they feature Lizzie's real style which is this curvy sorts of buildings and whatnot that she does. And you can see it's been designed uh, to hit a number of different countries that we go on this magical journey in. The paper quality is white, it's medium weight, really good quality paper illustrations are on both sides of the paper and they really fill the page. Now this book has a lot more text in it than her other books. I guess because they're taking us on a journey. So we've got some text letting us know where we are in what part of the world etc. So even just in small writing over here sometimes you'll have to watch out for it. I do like the quirkiness of this book and the way that the artist has really filled the pages with intricate pictures to colour in. You could spend ages colouring in these or you could spend you know, a small amount of time and do like a colour wash and do colour over it. Now the illustrations do go down into the spine but you can see that it is laying down very well and I haven't been very forceful with it at all. best way to Japan and we've got a unicorn what is the best I like the way it's divided up into different countries and you've got a bit of Japanese a bit of Australia a bit of other countries all in this lovely journey around the world and now we're going through New Zealand and this is the New Zealand Kiwi so it gives you a good opportunity to have lots of different styles within the one book with the same sort of quirkiness that she does so well. I do like that there's lots of images with large spaces on there which is always good for people that have arthritis and whatnot. Now we surely must be in Australia now because there's some kangaroos over there. And Kalgoorlie is a place in Australia. We've got Fremantle, which is in Perth in Australia. And now we're off to America. I love this car with the, the wings on it. And we've got the koala bear up there in the corner. So we've got Chicago, Route 66. Now many of these illustrations as you notice aren't double page scenes but they're printed on double pages so you know sometimes I think it's a shame that they don't actually just print some of them single paged. And then we've got a page there to test out and do any practicing that you might need to 
and also the answers to those interactive questions of those hidden objects. At the back we've got another lovely fold out and this is also featured as one of those illustrations within the book. Now I don't know about you guys but I actually like this one better than the Magical City. But um, let me know how you feel. In the meantime, happy colouring.